Hey, Megan. Thanks for sharing your reaction. Um, on the Tony and Anaya video, I think I felt really similar to you. Like you said, initially I was hearing what Tony was saying as being a little rude and interrupting, and I was worried about Anaya's feelings. Um, I think it's it's really good that you pointed out that we can't judge Tony in five seconds without knowing her, knowing her personality, you know, how she normally communicates. Um, and I thought it was cool that in the end, the experience of sharing with the class was a positive one for Anaya because her goal that day was to share with the class and she did and she felt good about it. So it worked. Um, all of those moments of teacher discretion uh, still sound stressful to me. And just last week leading the math routine, I felt that pressure to say the right thing while trying to steer the class into the wind in a productive direction. Um, they can really feel like playing one on 15 dodgeball or something. And then my last thought was that that algebra textbook story got to me too with the guy who dropped out and the math teacher who didn't give him a textbook because he said he wasn't going to college. I was thinking about that for the rest of the night. I think we still do that today in a lot of structural ways. Uh, we separate kids in middle school into the pre-algebra and basic math tracks and I'm wondering about how that's done in schools now from the people in our class that are currently teachers. Um, I know that my high school shuttled kids into two separate tracks. One was called the academic diploma and the other was like for vocational tech, basically saying, you know, we don't think you're college material, so don't take these classes that will prepare you for college. So, thanks.